scoring in Muay Thai is one of the hottest topics right now in the sport, especially here in the Kingdom of Thailand. Ever since the return of the stadiums, it has been in the spotlight. There have been some decisions, lots of fans have not agreed with, some decisions, some ring officials have not agreed with, and more importantly, stadium owners and executives as well have not agreed with. So, in the, over the past five weeks with the new shutdown of the stadiums, the uh, executives and ring official committees from Channel 7, Lumpini and Rajadamnan have got together in their own little uh, worlds and decided to review all of the scoring criteria for the stadiums and then once those criteria are set and agreed with the, with the SAT, they will be teaching their ring officials um, on different nuances and upskilling of scoring at the stadiums. You have to remember as a judge, the, the, the fight is five rounds. When you finish judging round number one and you move into round number two, don't look back on round number one. You gotta treat each round as a fight. Same goes round three, round four, round five. Um, again, you see there's a lot of difficulties with uh, judging in Thailand in the sense that some of the stadiums, their judges would uh, be less lenient towards scoring a winner in rounds one or five depending on the nuances of the local stadium. But you have to remember, all of the criteria for scoring is set out by the Sports Authority of Thailand. Each stadium and each ring official working in a stadium is supposed to adhere and follow the criteria set out by the SAT, which of course the WBC is very strong in uh, carrying out the rules and regulations of the Sports Authority of Thailand. Four main stadiums in Thailand in terms of activity and historical value have got Channel 7, uh, Lumpini, Rajadamnan and of course Amnoi Stadium. Now again, going back to what I mentioned earlier, all of the ring officials at those stadiums are supposed to follow a set of criteria, rules and regulations set out by the Sports Authority of Thailand. Now different stadiums, for example Channel 7 Stadium, pre-fight, the head of the W, the Channel 7 Ring Officials Committee, Mr. Dr. Tawud uh, Plum Samran, he and the main executive of Channel 7 will take all the fighters into a room about half an hour before the show. And because Channel 7 is action-packed and, and the highest rated TV show in Thailand, round one and round five, they actually have a KO bonus. They don't publicize it, but they do have it. So they, they, uh, the scoring at Channel 7 is a little different towards uh, Lumpini and Rajadamnan. The officials, the uh, Rajadamnan and Lumpini, tend to look at fights differently, uh, score the, the earlier round, the earlier round, the opening round, and the uh, final round a little bit differently than they would rounds two, three, and four. But to set the record straight, all of the rules and regulations are set by the SAT. The stadiums are supposed to follow it, but we all know, and we're not naive to say that they have different nuances on how they score. All aspiring Thai referees and judges serve an apprentice, an apprenticeship. They're an apprentice. They don't get a certificate to say they're a judge or a referee and then go out and start judging fights. They serve their time. They ghost judge. They, they spend years watching fights, adjudicating fights, picking the brains of the senior officials on their teams. And it all comes down to experience. Experience builds knowledge. And of course, it's got to be competent experience and competent knowledge. But to answer your question, a good ring official in Thailand uh, is not just created, they're molded over time with experience. We, we put a big emphasis at the WBC Muay Thai on sharing knowledge. Again, come back to the term competent knowledge. We're not big on handing out certificates or level one, two or three. It all comes with experience. Um, so to become a good WBC Muay Thai judge, it comes down to your, we evaluate you on past experience. If you were a judge in at 10 fights in London, we will watch those fights, Mr. Tawut and I, and we will, uh, obviously we need the information, pre-information in terms of uh, how you scored those fights, but we use things like that in the context, also how long you've been in the sport, how many uh, fights you have refereed, how many fights you've been a judge at in total, and of course, during the seminars, how many questions are you asking? How much logic is in those questions? How much information are you retaining? Again, I will emphasize the WBC Muay Thai seminars are not about handing out certificates. They're about sharing knowledge, knowledge that will be used to better the sport. I think if you're an aspiring judge, sit down and watch um, judge fights at Lumpini, Rajadamnan and Channel 7, and you will walk away scratching your head in terms of the nuances and the differences of how you perceive those fights to be judged. 
great resources such as uh, Muay Thai's on YouTube with HD fights. Uh, watch, go back when Timo was uploading fights in 2012, 13, 14, 15, 16 and watch and try to judge a full fight at Rajadam then and try to watch the same two fighters if you can get them and there are fights, I can go into detail on that again later, fighting at Lumpini and you see the same fight but scored differently and that you can see the differences of the, the mental competence and mental mindset of the judges at different stadiums and how they view and score the fights in terms of effective aggressiveness and uh, all those different uh, aspects of scoring a fight. Again, I'll come back to the point. Dr. Tawood is the eminent uh, ring official in Thailand right now. He's the head of ring officials for the WBC Muay Thai and Channel 7 Stadium. And he is in fact the only fluent English speaker of all ring officials of the four major stadiums in Thailand. And he's a great guy to pick his brain, which I do. He gets a little bored of me, but hey, what, what, what's all right. Uh, we have been quite lucky if you go back to the uh, Dr. Anek, uh, many of the modern day Muay Thai, I want to say modern, I mean newer people to the sport of Muay Thai won't remember him, but Dr. Anek was the, the Yoda of Muay Thai. All of the ring of, not all of them, but the majority of ring officials at many of the major stadiums looked to him in the 80s, the 90s, and the early 2000s as the Yoda of Muay Thai. His knowledge base was incredible still is incredible he has retired but sometimes you will see uh, Dr. Anek coming to the stadiums to watch fights and the respect he gets paid by all ring officials is quite incredible to see and then continuing down Dr. Tawut uh, the head of our ring officials he was like an apprentice so to speak of Dr. Anek and he has he was nurtured by him and his knowledge is incredible as well so we've been quite lucky in the sense that Dr. Tawut has been able to educate and t uh, show all of our ring officials to keep a competent level of knowledge and scoring in the mindset and uh, the, the brain is a computer when it comes to scoring and um, we've been quite lucky in that context.